This is Let's Play KeyCat 7, Part 7, and today we're going to cover a optional feature called Buses. So if you're like me, you have tried to use these already, and you're going to notice that there is no way to wire to these directly, and when you go into Properties, you may have the message, Bus has no members. This video is going to clarify the four types of buses, and how to use them step by step. On the right side of toolbar, click the bus icon, and then let's draw three individual buses. The four types of buses, or bus notations, are vector, group, group of vectors, and alias. Let's start with type vector by going to the right side of toolbar, clicking the label button, and in the dialog box, let's type in example, square brace, 0 dot dot 7, and a closing square brace. Now, of course here, example is just a placeholder, so you can name it almost anything you want. Plant this label down on the top bus, right-click the bus, go to the Unroll option, and now we have our eight bus members. Let's select any member, and now you can see the application has created everything we need. In the interest of time, I'm going to fast forward ahead, and now we can see that every member of the bus has been successfully unrolled on both sides. The second type of notation is the group. On the right side of toolbar, click Label, and this time in the dialog, we are going to start with the curly brace, and the eight members I want are going to be named NRST, Temperature, Speed, Buzzer, Feedback, RPM. Let's terminate the list with another curly brace. Click OK, plant this label on the middle bus, right click, go to Unroll, and now we can see every member. Before we unroll, let's double click the label, and optionally ahead of the curly brace, we can give these a prefix, and after doing so we can click OK, right click the bus, go back to unroll, and now we can see that every member now has the prefix. The third type we'll see today is the group of vectors. On the right side of toolbar, go to label, and this time for the name, let's start with a curly brace, and this time inside the curly braces, I am typing in the following string. Notice once again these groups are numbered 0 through 3. Make sure to terminate the list with a curly brace. Click OK. Plant this label on the bottom bus. Right click the bus. Go to Unroll. And now if you check out the menu options, you can see that we now have hierarchy. Once again I am going to fast forward, and now everything is wired up. If we look at the name for the middle bus, this string is pretty long. It would be convenient to shorten it to just a few characters. So let's try out the fourth type of bus notation, which is the bus alias. In the top left corner of the editor, look for the icon Edit Schematic Setup. When it loads, navigate to Project, Bus Alias Definitions. Below this blank area, I'm going to click on the plus sign, and in the table in the alias field, the name I want today is Panel, but this is only a placeholder. On the right hand side, click the new plus sign, and on the list on the right side, we can enter all the member names we want. So here I'm going to add all seven, and when the list is complete, simply press OK. This will return you to the schematic, so let's erase the original wiring, do the same for both sides, and then one last time go to the right side of toolbar, go to the Label tool, and inside the dialog window, type in curly brace, panel, which is the name I picked earlier, and then terminate it with another curly brace. Click OK when you're done, plant this label on the bus, and now we have all the members but with a much shorter bus name. 